Jessica from the YA room. Today we're going to YA Matters at the State Library. We're yeah. super excited. Woo! <laughs> all this day, including Jennifer Niven, International, so cool. AS King, mm -hmm. Siobhan Plaza, Classic Siobhan, Nice, Jay Kristoff. Another good classic. time. It's going to be really good. Yeah. I'm really excited. State Library and we are ready for the first panel to begin. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I've been following all the live tweets for the last two days. It's looked amazing. And it's just like, I just, I'm like, I need to see this I'm person. I'm so ready. Yeah. Oh, I can see Jay. Ooh, I can yes. see Mariko. Is that Mariko? I feel like maybe. We've and spotted Rachel so many Cross. people. Oh so my gosh. Oh, we I think we're going to start soon. So Very gonna, exciting. Welcome back to the YA Rooms YouTube channel. Today we have a very exciting call with Alexandra Panzerino. So Alex, what books do you have for us today? Well Sarah, I've got a, quite a few books. I mean, I'm really excited to tell you what books I've got. So I'm just gonna get straight into it. Okay. So the first one I have is Kim, and this one's by Mariko. Tamika, Tamika, I just come here. And it's like a contemporary, but it's sort of a graphic format, which is always Love really it. exciting, mm. very nice and different, unusual. Yeah. Nice. I also have um, Spark oh. by Rachel Kroll. Okay. It's actually the first one in a trilogy. Yeah. And it's um, a speculative fiction novel. <laughs> gotcha. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to pick this one up. I also have one more Mariko Tamika series. Wow. And this one, this one is Summer. He won um, an Honor Book Award, which is awesome. Wow, congratulations. I'm so excited for you. Yet again, another like graphic it is story. Gorgeous. Lovely illustrations. The next ones I have are some A.S. King. Um, A.S. King's gonna be in the city soon, um, like very soon. So I thought, so I'd, I thought I'd quickly read her books before she comes. Yeah, so just I've got them. Everybody Sees the End and Ask the Passengers. Nice. So I'm gonna get them signed. To my collection, and I'm, I know I'm gonna love them. So, so <laughs> I've also got these two lovely oh. gems, all the bright places, and holding up the universe. I've heard of those ones before. I haven't either. Apparently, someone named Jennifer Niven is coming for the launch. Who would have guessed? Like, in Australia. Wow. Wow. But like, that's all I got. I mean, I just got a few things. Just like, like a few books. Not, not very like not casual anything. reading. Like, I'll read so in a day. Like, yeah. you know, it's whatever. Yeah. It's chill. But yeah, that's. I love your whole Alex. So I just had a writing workshop with Siobhan Plaza and that was got lost. really cool. I did, I got lost and that was kind of awkward. No but um, yeah, it was really worthwhile. Um, I enjoyed that and you got your book signed. Yes, yeah, so I got my book signed. I got two by Mariko signed. I got Spark by Rachel Kaur signed. Nice. Um, I didn't get Jake Kristoff signed because he's literally everything and I was he like, is. I'll just get it signed on Friday when I see Fair him enough. at lunch. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's really good. And like next up I think we have Lily Wilkinson, yeah. Jennifer Niven. It's gonna be so oh, good. It's ah. so awesome when international authors come out to like yeah. little old Melbourne because we mm -hmm. get to like actually experience it. And I was exactly. like, before, it's like as close to be a we'll ever get. I know. It's like, yeah. we never get authors come to anything unless it's a book launch. It's amazing. But now we have multiple authors so here. So cool. And like, can't wait to meet them. And post it notes with our names on it. Bless. Wilkinson here just to talk to us about her favorite experiences and what it's like being an author at Reading Matters this year. Thanks so, for joining us. We really enjoyed your panels. So, pleasure. Yeah, it's great to chat to you. So, what is your favorite part of being Reading Matters? Well, I have been at a lot of Reading Matters um, and by far the best part is when you are sitting in the audience, listening to a writer speak and they are saying something incredibly profound and moving and you realize 
what the thing is that you have to write next. And, and then yeah. this one, it was uh, a couple of days ago when Jennifer Niven was talking about like finding your story and the story that you've always really needed to write. And it, in that moment I realised like the story that I've been putting off writing for like 10 years and I realised what it was. So that's my favourite part. So speaking of stories that you feel you definitely have to write, um, do you see, what kind of parts of yourself do you see in your existing works already? Well, I think, I mean, there's always a part of, of me in every single one of my, certainly my protagonists. <laughs> um, the protagonist that's the most like me is probably Ava in Pink. That story is, is it's not autobiographical, but it's certainly drawn a lot from my high school experience. Um, I also think there's quite a bit of, of Penny from Love Shy in me, except she's much, much more irritating and annoying. Um, but I do like kind of taking just one little facet yeah. of my personality and then like dialing it up to 11. What about people that you know in life? Do you see any like replications of them in your work? Totally, yes. <laughs> um, all the time and a lot of the time they don't spot it. Um, and Brilliant. that's great. Um, and, but sometimes I do it on purpose. Um, and sometimes, like at the moment, I'm writing a story where the love interest is a Puerto Rican American um, and I am being helped an enormous amount by a, a good friend of mine who is Puerto Rican American so he's making sure that I get it all right. Yeah, um, perfect. So that's really, really helpful. Aside from Pinterest, how else do you kind of create your world? Is it something that kind of comes to you all at once or you just kind of figure it out as you go? I think it's like a reverse onion. It's like about building up layers and layers and layers and I do a lot of planning before I start writing. I do a lot of um, as well as my Pinteresting, I, I make I do make playlists as well, but I also just collect documents and, and quotes and all sorts of different bits and pieces and, and try and build it all up, build all my characters up and figure out who they are and what they want um, before I even start the writing part of it. And then even then that process is always continuing, so you're always going back and adding in those items as you go. So we were talking before on the panel about a book you would recommend to everyone. So what are your top three favourite Love Oz YA books that oh you've read? God, you of all time. possibly make me yes, three. Yes, you have to choose people. right now. Then I need like four hours to think about it. Um, let me then say... Uh, okay, I really love Graffiti Moon by Kath Crowley. Nice. Um, I love... Uh, I do love The Gathering by Isabel Carmody. I've only got one left. How do I choose? Oh. I am going to say, I better pick a recent one. And I will say My Sister Rosa by Justine Lovelace. Nice. I still haven't read that one, but it seems like such a different kind of yeah. dark Oh, it's story. going to yeah. creep the hell out. Yeah, I'm oh, looking for it. I'm looking I love those kind of books. Yes. Perfect. So, just in terms of writing again, did you find you were always interested in writing? Like, were you good at English? Yes. Yeah? Okay, yeah. so yeah. It, was always, it was always there? Mostly, yes. I always wanted to be a writer when I was a kid. It was definitely what I always wanted to do. I always wrote stories. I wrote a full novel between like grade five and year eight. Wow. It was the worst. <laughs> um, nobody will ever read it. Um, except us, maybe. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> um, except when I went to uni, for some bizarre unknown reason, I decided I didn't want to write anymore and I thought I was going to become a filmmaker. And so I studied film and theatre, I directed some shows at uni and, you know, I did some other bits and pieces. Um, and I had to do screenwriting subjects for uni as part of, you know, doing my film course. And that was the thing I always got really good marks at and everything else I was sort of, you know, okay at. And I finally just had to slap myself in the face and say, like, writing is yeah. obviously the thing that you're really good it's at. It's part of you. Like, just do it. Don't deny it. it. Yeah. Um, and, you know, that was the best decision I've ever made. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much for having a little chat with You're us. Very welcome. <laughs> and hopefully catch up soon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just look forward to chatting more. So Anytime. very exciting. <laughs> so thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. We had a great day today. We're just gonna lovely. Keep chatting with some of the authors. Those panels were amazing. I'm so glad I came. I learned heaps. I learned more about the authors and the writing processes and how to get published. And Time. Exactly. And spent money. So. <laughs> Shouldn't have That's the most important thing. thing. We bought books. Yes. <laughs> nice. It's all good. So we'll talk to you yes. soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye.